Hi, this is the second video about my reducer which I call Orbital Drive. It was invented by my brother and myself and we hope that this reducer will allow us to build uh, high precision cheap robotic arms. In the previous video I built uh, the working prototype and now I wanted to explain you how it works. Okay, this reducer has a couple of pulleys. So first pulley is just fixed. The second one is on top of it. This is the axis of symmetry. You uh, also have uh, two smaller pulleys here. And these two pulleys are connected on the same axis. And there is a timing belt between them. One and two. And this system with these two pulleys are rotating around this main axis, this one. So, if these two pulleys uh, have the same dimensions, this two has the same dimension, in this case, this pulley, which is output of this reducer, is, uh, does not move with respect to this one. But, if we will introduce in these systems a small uh, asymmetry, like for example, if this pulley is going to be just a little bit smaller than this one, in this case, we will get a higher redu uh, reduction ratio, because when we will rotate this system around the main axis a couple of times, this one will rotate, this uh, pulley will, uh, will rotate only just a little bit. So now let's calculate the reduction ratio of this system. So we assume that uh, DF is the diameter of the fixed pulley, DS is the diameter of the smaller pulleys, and the output is the diameter of the output pulley. So let's assume that our uh, these uh, two pulleys are rotating with a frequency nu, so this is the frequency of our motor, and in this case, in rotating frame, Uh, the, f the speed with which a uh, lower belt is going to uh, rotate is going to be EDF times frequency and it's the, same, it's the same belt, so the speed is the same here and here so this is equal to PDS nu S prime uh, We put this prime just to emphasize that all this is in rotating frame and as these two pulleys are connected this belt is going to have the same speed as this one. So all this is going to be equal to P, D, output times new output prime. And thus the frequency, the frequency of the rotation of the output pulley is going to be DF divided by D0 new. Now let's go to the lab frame. And in lab frames, the frequency of the rotation of the output pulley is going to be new output and it's going to be new minus new prime output and it's going to be new times 1 minus df divided by d output. And thus we can conclude that the uh, reduction ratio, 1 over reduction ratio, is going to be 1 minus df divided by d0. Thus, if uh, there is a small difference between the diameter of these two pulleys, in this case, we're going to have a huge reduction ratio. This is the main principles. So, this is the box. Let's see what we have here. This is my reducer. Inside the box there is a power supply. There is a controller to control the motor. There is Arduino to control controller. And I have also some uh, spare parts. So now let's, let's see how it works. Just wait a couple of seconds uh, to start up everything. 